Hey guys, I'm Eddie Bauer, rock athlete Paige Clausen, and this is my husband Arian. And we're going to show you how to build a, a hub climbing wall. The most common wall dimensions are 8 feet wide, 12 feet long, which is basically three panels of standard plywood, and 45 degrees is a really common angle. You'll need clamps, a drill, measuring tape, three inch decking screws, gloves to avoid splinters, a stud finder, and markers. Also a circular or a job saw. You'll also need three standard plywood panels, two thirds inch or thicker, and a minimum of five 14 foot two by fours. First, cut your toe kick. Ours is eight inches high to save space, but 14 inches is standard. Second, stack your three plywood panels and mark your T-nut holes in a grid, each spaced 20 centimeters apart. Drill through all three panels at once with a half inch bit. Do the same on your kickboard. You can hammer your T-nuts in now or once the panels are fixed to the wall, it doesn't matter. Third, cut your two by fours. For an eight by 12 wall, you'll need five 12 and a half foot pieces and five shorter lengths for the toe kick. The length of your short pieces should be the height of your toe kick plus an extra six inches for attachment. Mark your long pieces at 12 feet and your short pieces at eight inches. Line up these marks and attach with one screw so that the angle is still adjustable. Next, mount your first beam by fastening it to the structural beam in your roof with an L bracket or decking screws. Mount the toe kick as reference now so that you can see where to place your beams so they won't block the T-nut holes. Now mount the remaining beams, securing each at the roof and to the kickboard at the base. Finally, mount your panels. Use clamps to attach the panels to the beams while you fasten with decking screws. You'll see we added an extra bit of paneling on the side to extend the width of the wall. I wanted a slightly wider wall since we had the space. For extra support, you can add additional cross beams with two by fours behind the wall. And that's it. Now it's time for the fun part, which is putting on your holds. So I think one of the most important parts of a home wall is choosing holds and then how to set. I think it's best if you can get, say, 20 crimps, 20 jugs, 20 pinches, 20 slopers, and then spread them out evenly over the whole wall. Don't try and set when you're putting holds on the wall. See you guys.